Hello, this is Teresa Maggio for BCTV. Today is September 2nd, Friday, five days after Tropical Storm Irene hit Vermont. And today we're taking a ride up the West River Valley to see what the storm has done to the valley and to talk to some of the people affected by the flooding. The Route 30 Rock River Bridge is out and being repaired. Traffic is being turned towards Williamsville. That brown stain you see on the west side of the bridge is where the earth used to come up to. Um, where do you live? Uh, we live on Duke Road in Williamsville. And what happened to you uh, after the flood? Um, well, we've uh, sustained uh, quite a bit of personal property damage, uh, probably over an acre of property. The house is intact as of right now. Uh, it's threatening our septic system. Uh, we're in the process of moving a barn that's ready to go into the river. Uh, we actually got trapped in here uh, after the fire department came and evacuated us. We uh, got our grandson and um, daughter-in-law out and uh, by the time my wife and I got the dogs together the road was already covered with water and we hiked out to the planet farm. Uh, Governor Shumlin, we uh, could really use some help here. Here's the little old bridge all traffic is now being routed over. The bridge graffiti says, fix me before tragedy in red letters. We stopped at the Williamsville fire station. Um, everybody's willing to help. Well, they have to do what they have to do to get the vehicles through, rescue equipment and stuff like that. I live on Stratton Hill Road in South Newfane. Um, we can't get there from here. We can only go to South Newfane where the road was washed out and then we get to walk, walk the rest of the way. Um, takes us an hour and a half to two hours to get to our house. What do you do for groceries? Carrying them up. Oh my gosh, do you have electricity? Yes, we do have a generator. Oh How long do you think you're going to have to do that for? Have no clue. None whatsoever. Um, but they're working on it and doing real good. I was shocked to see the old grist mill in the stream bed. That was the old grist mill, and, and it was so wonderful. <laughs> and the old willow tree is gone. What? Oh, it's heartbreaking. We had to leave on Monday to take a three-day trip, and so this is the first time seeing it since all of the damage has, since things have settled down, and I'm heartbroken. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, wow. So much for that. I haven't been that way. Well, Green Iron Bridge the there? Green Iron Bridge, uh, uh, um, right in South Newfane Village, there. Parish that Hill uh, Parish Hill, yeah. And that, when I left on on Monday, I, you know, I'd seen pictures where it was just completely broken off. And then um, Todd Brown, you know, neighbor, just came and with his excavator and just reattached it or something. I mean, people have been amazing. And our friends up on Adams Hill, who are completely stranded, and were told it would be two weeks before they could get down, that neighbors just got together and made the road passable. Yeah. I'm <laughs> the guys were fixing utility poles at the corner of Parish Hill and Parish Hill. 
And this is the Parish Hill Bridge put back on its feet by a neighbor. You can see where the steel was bent by the water. Newfane's recycling bins didn't do so well. Dutton's farm stand was working on cleanup. So this is my farm stand location on Route 30 in Newfane. Now my fields up there, virtually untouched. My apple orchard in West Brattleboro, zero damage. My apple orchard in Wyndham, zero damage. So I'm a lucky guy. So that's what happened up here is we had a snag in the brook and uh, the water came screaming over and took a third of my mums away. Took about 1,500 mums away. Now behind the farm stand, we lost uh, you know, about 300 fruit trees and um, you know, several thousands of dollars worth of perennials and shrubs. Five inches away from going into that building. What? I fixed all this with my tractor. There was a hell of a hole here, but we filled it in quite a bit. And it was like blowing right into the greenhouse. There was like 18 inches of water in that greenhouse. And there was like 18, 20 inches of water rushing through this alley and right through that doorway out there. They're all jammed underneath here, and like everywhere you look, there's there's a mum. There's another one of my mums right here. That's a beauty. But this pile of muck came from our greenhouses, delivered by wheelbarrow by my employees. But the water level in that greenhouse is 18 inches deep. The real big loss was those perennials and those shrubs and those chrysanthemums. I think approaching $75,000. One of our pet mums again. Here's one of our friends again, all right? We stopped off at Camparama in Townsend. Hi, I'm Mike Dupuy from Munson, Massachusetts. Well, as you can see, the river's a little flooded here and I have a camper here at Camparama. And I came up today just to check on it and make sure everything's safe and sound and ready for the weekend. As you can see, <laughs> As you can see so far, we're okay. It, it, has, it hasn't, hasn't reached the, you know, into the door yet, so we're pretty good. They were doing a water release from the dam. It had already gone down three feet, but there is no more beach left. The water line was up past the trees. In Townsend on Route 35, I came across this scene. Saturday, no, Saturday night, we're sleeping here. My girl and I sleep in here together. And that morning, early in the morning, I can hear like a whistle uh, noise from my this river. Like it's a kind of like, ra like a rumble noise. So I went, I get out in my house and I look in my driveway and this driveway, it's full of water. It's full of water and then I walk and I walk back inside my house and um, I came back to my girl and I told my girl that we, we're gonna go out in town to get something to stock in our house for in case uh, our powers goes out instead try to scare her. So we went outside and I just stopped there where the water out in my driveway and look up in my bridge like a huge of water like a swirl of water like coming into my bridge. We came down here and I just like zoom out in my bridge and just headed out. I was 
strong enough to cross in my bridge. And like, you didn't go back that night? I was attempted to, and one of my co-workers stopped me. And one of my co-workers says, you do not go back there, you will be not to survive. And on up to Jamaica, worst hit. I'm Ben Williams, and today I was elected to be uh, like a security officer and take care of uh, town traffic and coordinate flagging for road construction and stuff like that. It, you know, every, it looks like the town is really pulling together and everybody's contributing something and just need to coordinate it and we're doing real well. Tempers are pretty even and we're getting a lot of community effort here. What's the biggest problem right now? Uh, probably getting the bridges and the roads back together so people can get back to their homes. Uh, we got quite a few people that were evacuated uh, from up on Pikes Falls Road there and uh, they're anxious to get back to their back into their own homes again. It's kind of a big mess but uh, there's some good coming out of it. What's the good? The good is the people are working together and there's a lot of community spirit happening here. And uh, it's, it's amazing how people pull together. So, you know, we've got four houses completely missing on the back street down there and this you know, people are coping. It's it's really amazing. So it's you can't you know, there's nothing you can do to prepare for something like this. You just have to go with the flow when it happens and uh, make make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> the um people are going along the riverbank you said? People are going along the riverbank and scouring the riverbanks for um <laughs> for photos and anything that these people have have lost and bringing them into the store and then there's a lady that's right here in town and uh, we just hand everything to her she sorts it out and the families come in and uh, and they just pick what's theirs and so there's a crew cleaning them and and drying them and we have probably thousands of photos at this point the whole town is just incredible. We have a collection jar from, we've collected over $2,300 worth of, uh, or $2,300 to, uh, to hand out to families. One lady just took $500 to go buy some new clothing. She lost everything. So it's really wonderful. It's filling. We keep emptying it. Oh, well, our our son, my stepson Wesley, he uh, stepped right in Monday morning and got in his excavator, got into the river and started clearing the river, clearing the bridge, fixing the bridge, putting in a whole new road. People are taking care of themselves. Everybody is coming out and it, it's really incredible. Jamaica is the new terminus of Route 30 because their bridge broke during the storm. And gravel trucks screamed around. It was a sight to see.